Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a Greek style burger. We're going to switch things up a little bit. You guys stay tuned. Here's a quick rundown of just common ingredients. I've got lettuce, sliced cucumber, tomato, onion, just some sesame seeded buns. I told you guys I've been on this land kick while we walked in our grocery store. Then all of a sudden they had ground lamb. I don't think we've actually ever had ground lamb. We just actually just started eating lamb recently. Pretty pumped about it. I'm gonna use my Cavender seasoning today because it's more like a burger. And the last time we did a Greek dish was our gyro on the uh, flat top. Well, we used uh, tzatziki sauce. This one, I wanted to use a whipped feta. There's a restaurant that we go to quite often and they offer a whipped feta as like a little portion cup side and it is fantastic. So I looked up tons of recipes of how to do it. What do you know? Every single person I looked up did it different. Everything from sour cream to cream cheese to Greek yogurt. But they all had certain like kind of common ingredients. Uh, uh, lemon juice, garlic, salt, pepper, some added mint, some added dill. And I was like, golly, by the time you do that, you might as well just make tzatziki sauce and then add your feta, beat it together. And the next thing you know, you got whipped feta. So that's the deal that we're going through today. That's the idea. So I've got my tzatziki sauce as a cheat code a little feta, we're gonna beat it up and spread that as like the glue, the cheese, the sauce. I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. You ready? Yep. Let's go. All right, let's get started. I might make a little bit too much, but trust me, you can save this. You can use it as a dip. Um, there's a lot of different options to go. So I'm gonna start eyeballing stuff here. It's probably enough for one burger, two burger, three burgers so three quarter cup and i'm going to add i'm going to start off with a quarter cup is this uh tzatziki sauce we're going to beat it together i meant to have my food processor out here and the dang thing isn't working i hate when that happens everybody's got a plan until they go to the food processor and it don't work all right so three quarter cup and a quarter cup we're gonna see what happens I don't quite have enough horsepower to make it creamy as much as I'd, I'd like. The food processor mm. will be able to cut through a little bit. This is more beating it than it is making it creamy. Mm. This is one of the olive oils that I consistently have in the pantry. I'm just gonna eyeball it at about, I don't know, maybe about a tablespoon. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. I like it. I like, I like it. where we're at. You can taste the olive oil. Mm -hmm. I would probably go maybe three quarters of a tablespoon versus like a tablespoon. But we didn't overpower it with the tzatziki. The fed has become creamy. That is gonna be one good combination. Mm -hmm. Before my hands get all gooky and nasty, I know I got gloves on, but I'm gonna go ahead and made an executive decision to mayonnaise the buns to get those toasted. I typically don't like mayonnaise because I think it has a tang to it. I love the color, the color is undeniable. But if I had my Ruthers, Ruthers, Druthers, what's it called? I don't know. <laughs> Pick a little, I don't know what it's called. If I had my choice, I'd use butter. But this, I think, since the tang of the tzatziki, the gaminess of the lamb, I think the mayonnaise is gonna work perfect. Get that on, let me show you guys what we're doing here. It's kind of like a hybrid smash. I don't want this to be overcooked. I think the lamb needs to be treated a little bit more respectful than that. But I also want that good crust. So this is just one pound of lamb. So we're gonna cut it in quarters. Kind of break up that a little bit. I'm gonna half get it in there like this. Start the smash process just like that. All right, the pit boss has been uh, heating up. It's on low. I'm sure it's hot enough, somehow, some way. Just a light coating of oil. Typically, I don't do that, but I don't know. You know, sometimes you just go with your gut. So this is gonna be like a hybrid smash. I'm not looking for... Ooh. 
lacy burgers. I still want them to have like a medium texture. Got some parchment paper. That right there, that's what I'm looking for, right there. Kind of like your standard burger patty size. Come back in and hit it with that Cavenders. I'll swear by this stuff. All right, looking at my burger, I'm going to decide to go ahead and flip them. I don't think the crust is set as much as I'd like, but I'd much rather at this point have a medium rare to medium burger than worry about that mild reaction and that deep crust. So that's just kind of one of the trade-offs. let these burgers rest let those uh, juices redistribute plus I don't want to put like a super hot burger right on top of the uh, that uh, whipped feta check on our buns all right there we go our lamb burgers are resting just try to take a little bit of this sauce I think we're just going to do both sides we both really 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 enjoy it it's super good and so, simple when you like something now somebody's gonna say what about the mint well if there's one thing I've ever tried to teach anybody about cooking, if you don't like an ingredient, you might as well not use it. And I'm not a fan of mint in cooking. Very rarely do I even like mint to begin with. I don't even like mint toothpaste. <laughs> All right, we've got the dressing there. All right, now that our spread's on, just hit it with that lamb patty. We're gonna dress our bun. Maybe a little lettuce, a couple slices of cucumber. I'll substitute the cucumber for like the idea of pickle. It's a good tomato. And I wanted that bite of onion. Red onion would be good on this. Banana peppers, Kalamata olives. Man, you go on and on. You can top it the way you like it. All right, guys, there you go. I know for a fact that dang whipped feta is where it's at. We're going to check this burger out. We're going to make that whipped feta again and just have it with crackers. Crudités. So has just a touch, I mean, just a touch of pink in there, which is kind of what I was going for. It's really close to being really great. Really close to being really great. The other option I had was to make almost like a lamb meatball with all the ingredients in it, but I didn't want to kill the flavor because we actually like the lamb flavor. Would that have set it over the top? I don't know. If I'm judging, eight out, eight out of 10 maybe. I don't know if I was expecting more. I don't know what I was expecting. Like it's really, really, really good. Mm. And all the flavors are there, but then you go back in your head, it's like, did it take it over the top? I don't know. I mean, they're still pretty dang good, honey. <laughs> I do think it would be good, though, with like a lamb meatball style. I, want to, I want to reiterate, it ain't bad. Hashtag I'd eat, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's good. Now it just makes me want to make it just that much better. How I'm going to do it, I don't know. I'll play around with it. And maybe we'll show something on Facebook. Show you guys our different creation. Maybe a char on the burger. Could you miss the char? Yeah. So maybe, you know, something like that. Just something just elevate it just a little bit. That's the truth. We make them. We see what happens. I know one thing. It's edible. That's for dang sure. And that that whipped feta is fantastic. But don't you think there's enough flavor there? Like, there's... it's not missing flavor. No. It's good. It's good. And... We've never had that boar's head tzatziki before. And you liked it. That's really good tzatziki. Yep. Yeah, we would buy that again. Yep. All right, guys, if you're new to us, we have the join button down below. It's where you guys help out the channel. We really appreciate each and every one of you that's taking the opportunity to do it. 
Uh, if you haven't, look out or check out the Griddle Group on Facebook. It's where we share recipes, come up with ideas. Matter of fact, it's where you guys told me to make a Greek burger. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. It's pretty dang good. Let's make it great.